Digitalizing means becoming more efficient, cutting market launch time, and simultaneously increasing quality. We can show you how you can already use the TIA portal to very specifically automate engineering processes, eliminate sources of defects, and easily standardize common functions. We'll show you how, using these four steps, starting with a typical machine, we'll look at the basics, standardization. Open interfaces are needed in order to integrate planning data, for example, and then we want to automatically generate the control code and create the visualization based on these generated modules at the click of a button. You initially standardize tasks in your projects. But what exactly does standardize mean? Let's take a very simple example. A transport unit. It consists of several components, including motors, sensors, and conveyor belts. A standard module can be created for each of these technical units. If the sensor and conveyor belt are now combined, they form a logical unit for which a standard module can also be created. If this is now connected to the motor, a plant section is the result. This is also assigned a standard module that ensures its functions. All of these objects can now be stored and managed in the library. Reusable, tested, and free from errors. This increases project quality and saves you a tremendous amount of time. Plant planning is usually supported by a planning application. I think many of you are already quite familiar with the name ePlan. To avoid redundant work and ensure greater efficiency, we've implemented the Automation Markup Language Standard Protocol, AML for short, in the TIA portal. The tools now speak the same language and can share data like equipment information, inputs and outputs, and network information. And my colleague will show you exactly how this works. It's extremely simple. I've exported an AML file from ePlan, and now I want to import the data. To do this, I click Import in the TIA portal, select the AML file, and the planning data are already imported. The OpenS interface is essentially the digital link between plant planning and automation. We've laid the foundation with standardization, and now we have our planning data in the project. Standardization can already help make processes leaner and freer from errors. But in my opinion, the greatest efficiency benefit lies in the fact that the user can have entire machines and plants generated completely automatically from the existing code modules. You know the feeling. Every project includes tasks that you feel like you have to perform 100 times a day. Routines that cost you a lot of time and are also tremendously susceptible to errors. Have you ever asked yourself why you can't be relieved of these routine tasks? Now there's a solution. The TIA Portal Openness Interface. Here's a small example. As you can see, the TIA Portal project is empty. This means the program modules we need to control our machine don't exist yet. Some of these required standardized program modules are in the project library. Now, let's automatically generate them with our project generator. To do this, I open our program generator, in which we can select the number of conveyor belts we want. Then we click Generate, and the program code for the conveyor belts is generated from our standard module, in other words, directly from the library. Of course, this is just one possibility. The program generator can also be integrated into the web interfaces or office tools. The only critical factor is the openness interface for data transfers within the TIA portal. And your program is already complete, quickly, automatically, and error-free. No time-consuming tests and easy to adapt. This makes life much easier for the programmer, and you save a tremendous amount of time. But the control program is only half the battle. We still need the appropriate visualization. Here as well, you can create your HMI project quickly, easily, and flexibly in the TIA portal. 
The somatic visualization architect, CVARC for short, generates a complete visualization solution based on the control program, all with the click of a button. Exactly. CVARC analyzes the control program and uses rules to connect the functions with corresponding HMI modules that are stored in the library. Let's take a look at how this works. As before, in the control program, there are also no HMI elements here. Our standardized and tested image modules are in the project library. And the CIVARC menu item, which contains various rule sets, is in common data. Today, we want to focus on the structure of the image rules for our conveyor belt. This structure consists of a unique name, the program module for which the instance data modules are analyzed by CIVARC, the equivalent image module from the library, and an image into which the image module will be placed. Now, all I have to do is start the generation process with CIVARC. And the created rules are executed. As we can see, a new image is very quickly inserted. And now, we have exactly three image modules of the type conveyor belt. But not only were the image modules positioned, the variable integration was also automatically taken care of by CIVARC. You've probably never been able to complete a visualization this quickly. By the way, you can use CIVARC to quickly generate more than 150,000 objects. So these are the four steps for automating your configuration tasks. Standardization of typical functions. Open interfaces for importing planning data, automatic generation of the PLC program, and automatic generation of the appropriate visualization. This is a tool you can use to meet the requirements of digitalization, save time, and especially prevent errors. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.